And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Extreme Production Series. Alright, well, I have done some prep work, and we have researched nuclear power. Uh, I've crafted 10 centrifuges to get this started, and we've got a bunch of mining drills to work with. So, one thing I want to do is uh, plan this out. So, obviously these need sulfuric acid to to operate so oh, let's see two three four five these are the mark two so these are going to be very very polluting um now i'm not sure if we're going to be able to pump enough oh yeah i'm not sure if we're going to be able to move enough material right let's just put them all the way across that so I might take half of these oh let's go this way so that's one two three four five and then the other half come this way and we'll have two coming up here and that is really not an ideal spot for that but I'm gonna leave it there just because uh, that is kind of our central power system. Um, so let's see, do we... I want to do something hokey th like that just to make sure that these are loading in the way that we want them to. Uh, so these can go back. Like that, just to make sure that we're gonna maximize our efforts there. Uh, and I don't have any pipes at all to speak of, so let's get some pipes going. Oh, no, let's do this way. Okay, so obviously these no need sulfuric acid. Well, I've got a little puddle of sulfur over here, and I even brought down some iron. Uh, to use for the sulfur. So let's get some uh, Let's do five and six. Let's get an even six of those ready to go uh, So the sulfur will come in and get processed into sulfuric acid locally uh, And let's do one two three four five one two Five. These are going to all be sulfuric acid. Okay, so the output from all of these one, two, three, four, five. I think that got everybody. Those two, those two, those two, those two, those two. Okay, those are all good. Link them all up. Now we need the sulfuric acid. We have a tank ready to go. Let's line this tank right up here. And of course we need to line it up with these. So, so right, right lined up, one, two, back. And let's put this right there. That should line that right up perfectly. And then connect these two and that should Connect all of those, and then these two here need to connect. And then two back there, because I've got pumps to make sure that we are getting some maximum throughput on this. So the other thing is we need water. Water is pretty easy to come by. I just got to make sure that we have enough room for some inserters for the the sulfur because we're gonna we're this uses quite a bit of sulfur I don't think we're gonna be needing too much so let's kind of get a good pattern going here I want to make sure my inserters have plenty of power 
Uh, and then water-wise, well, I think we're just going to bring this up a ways. And then let's put our water up here. This is plenty of sulfuric acid production. Uh, I'm not too concerned with running out. Um, just make sure the water is pumping in there fine. And let's put in our inserters for the sulfur. Now, sulfur, now that those are all crafted, there's plenty of sulfur to go around. Uh, I want to underground this just to make sure that we're moving it as fast because when we start upgrading these mining drills it's going to become pretty important uh, to maximize the throughput on that uh, so we're going to come over down this way and down this way so let's get these powered on really quick and looks like we are maximizing that belt which is good that's what we want full compression on that uh, now if we need to we could double that up could double that up um, so are these oh these need iron plate as well Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. okay uh, let's cancel that yikes I forgot about the iron plate Totally and completely spaced iron plate. So we're going to gather up all that sulfur for reasons. Uh, okay, so dial this back. Yeah, I completely spaced the iron plate. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to double side these belts. And unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to have the throughput of sulfur in order to be able to do that. So, hmm. Where's my iron plate? Iron plate's up here. So, we're going to have this come down, this come down here. Let's offset this. Actually, you know, this is all raw. Uh, we're going to have this come down, up, over and in and this one come down and in here and then once they're combined I can split them off oh and then we don't need this one nice split them off like that uh, and that should should be good and uh, I have a ton of sulfur on here uh, let, me, let me just drop some of that away unfortunately yeah this is not this is not the ideal situation for this, but it is what it is. So that iron will get loaded in, and we should start making should start making the sulfuric acid. Let's just make sure these are all up and running. Obviously, we got to pressurize all these pipes first so the first first we're loading in yeah see sulfur is is not gonna run to the bottom because use they use five sulfur for every craft um, I mean, we have a we have a dearth of it so I think we're I think we're doing pretty good on that front uh, and then I'm going to use substations to power all of this stuff. Right in line with that. The important thing is we maximize the compression in here. Because uh, this stuff is... Look at the mining time on this, four. So that really affects how efficient we're going to be okay so we have 10 of these 
So we're going to do one on this side, one on this side, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I always, I always misplace the very last one. So these just need uranium. Uranium and time is all we need to get this process going. So let's run up the uranium and then finish off the system that we need here. So we're gonna do in three chests across. And then we're going to do three filter inserters on all of these as well. Because this is going to sit and run for a while, and I want to make sure these are all good. So one of these, I'm going to do the inside one here. One of these is going to be the good stuff, the uranium-235, which is the brighter one. So we're going to get those on the inside track, which will have very few of them. So the, the two outside ones, those are going to be the 238s. Uh, and the reason I have two is because we're going to, we're going to be making a lot more of that than we are the, the other stuff. Uh, and I just want to make sure all these filters are set. Uh, let's get... And it's 10, you know, it's a 10 to 1 ratio, which is why I wanted so many, so many systems going. Because it's going to take a while to get to the first 40. And we, well, we can't research the Covarex enrichment for quite some time. So we're, we have some time because we don't have purple or high tech science. And high tech science is actually going to require modules, which is a whole mess of stuff involved with that. Uh, and I did some uh, preliminary work on or research for uh, the train system. So let's get a let's get another tool belt. I'm I'm a, I'm a little limited on my tool belt action down here. So uh, we want we want oh I wish I could if this was just like one square wider it would fit just one substation. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's uh let's line them up, make it make it look make, make it look pretty. So the important thing is we we load enough uranium on here to actually get these working right. Looks like we have plenty of capacity to work with here. So again we don't, we're not going to get any 235 for quite some time. We got plenty of plenty of opportunity for 238, and these are these use quite a bit of power, 235 kilowatts, and uh, looks like we are good on power. Look at that; they are the the second. We just built them, and they're the second most uh, power consumer that we've got. Okay, so I overbuilt sulfuric acid. That's fine. Because we're eventually, you know, we're eventually going to beef this up. We're going to have a huge amount of uranium to, to work with. But I wanted to get that system running now uh, and working. Uh, and then we can revisit it if we really, really have to. So, yeah, let, let the refining, let the refining begin. <clears throat> you know what? I still didn't power. I finished all of this, and I didn't power any of these. What the heck? That's very strange. Let's, let's remedy that. Obviously, light oil... Why is my light oil maxed over here? This should have pumped it all out. I should not have max light oil over here. Hmm. One thing I'm thinking 
because our light oil is maxed over here for some reason. Um, I think it's I think it's preferring to run these before it's before it runs the crack system. So here's what I'm thinking of fixing with that. Now that we have some sweet tool belt action, I'm going to run this one up and we're going to clear this. So those two are pumping into this tank here. Uh, I want to pump into this tank then I want to pump across into this tank. Um, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I want to get a pump into here. <clears throat> okay, so this will pull just from light oil cracking. That's the only thing that we're going to pull from there. Now, I want to link up this tank with this pump because I don't want to pull petroleum gas out of our refining process until this tank is you know nearly empty so we're gonna set this to less than let's say like a thousand and then we're gonna set this to petroleum gas so this tank will read its contents if this tank drops below a thousand this will kick on and start pulling uh, the the remnants the the petroleum gas from this system here so these 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 tubes or these pipes will pressurize as you can see they are really really close to full pressure now same with these over here but now our light oil is empty which is what we want so this light oil we're we're now preferring to crack down our light oil before we refine anything new which will that will save us some oil not that we need to save oil we we've, we've got we've got plenty of oil i just wanted a a system that that caters that makes sure this light oil gets cracked down before anything uh, and the ratios are well we have basically a two for three we're getting 20 out of the 30 that we're cracking so you know a full tank of this 25,000 will uh, we should fill this thing up so as soon as this drops to 10,000 um, then it will stop pumping and we're gonna we're gonna have to use a lot oh we're gonna have to use a lot of petroleum gas in order to get this system to be taxed whatsoever because we got lots of heavy oil we have lots of lubricant ready to go for the next big push and if we go up to our system here we should see quite a lot of stagnant kind of disabled lines because we are maxed out on production right now um, so the next big push is going to be for the purple science packs which we need electric engines for so we have these engines here now electric engines i might be able to no uh, see i don't think i could squeeze them in in here although they only use circuits circuits and engines and lubricant of course and it's a lube that really makes this build tough um how many of these can i make uh, i'm probably low yeah i'm low on iron and gears i mean grab a few more of these so yeah our gears going great now that we have dedicated iron our iron has recovered quite a lot because of that uh, dedicated iron as well I even upgraded this to push copper in super duper fast <clears throat> oh 
All right, so electric engines, I think, are going to go over here because we're also going to need them for robots. We are going to have some robots in here. Uh, I'm going to try to do as much without them as possible, but some of Bob's some of Bob's stuff is really hard to do without robots, <clears throat> especially his module stuff. Holy cow! All right, but before we get that started, uh, we're at about uh, about the time. So uh, that'll do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.